Welcome home, master. I've been waiting for you all day. I hope the day wasn't too hard on you. Did you think about me while you were gone? Because I was thinking about you. Oh, what am I wearing? Well, I know you always want me to dress up for you and I know you really like anime, so I thought maybe a maid outfit would be good. I hope that's okay. Oh, thank you, I'm so glad you like it. I really like how it looks on me. Now come over here and tell me about your day. I spent the whole day cooking and cleaning for you, so you better hurry and get seated or the food will get cold. And if you feel enough for it, I will massage you and whisper in your ear how much I love you and care for you. But first, you gotta eat. I, I do hope you like it. It's something new I've never made before, so... I, I really hope you enjoy it. So, tell me, how is it? Did I do a good job? <laughs> oh my god, thank you. That, that makes me really happy. Thank you so much, Master. It makes me so happy that you like it. I just want to dress up and show you how much you mean to me. So I hope this isn't too weird for you. Now, before I sit down to listen to you, do you need anything? A glass of water or anything else? Okay, here's your water. Now, tell me all about your day. I want to know everything. So people are being mean to you. I'm so sorry to hear that. I didn't know people could be so mean to somebody so pretty. But don't you worry, master. You're home now with me. Safe. It's okay to feel down sometimes, as long as you let the ones that love you help you, aka me. Because to me, you're amazing. You're perfect. The way your skin feels against me when you hold me or hug me. The feeling I get inside when you stare deep into my eyes and tell me you love me when I get to just listen to you, just you, talking about your hobbies or your little obsessions, and you go on your little rants, I just love that, I just love that so much, oh, how was my day, well, I guess it was okay, I started with getting this outfit, but finding one that goes over my chest was really hard, so I had to get one that's a bit small. That's okay. I know I won't be wearing it for too long. After that, I did some cleaning and I started streaming. I had a really fun time playing God of War. It's such an amazing story. After some gaming, me and my chat watched some horror videos and they were actually really scary. But it's okay. While watching them, I was thinking about your arms around me, and it was okay after that. Then, in the middle of it, they started gifting me a bunch of subs and bits, and it feels good, but it also makes me feel so strange. Like, I love that people think my streams are so fun, they would give me money. But sometimes, I feel like I don't deserve it, or that. They shouldn't waste money on me. But that's just my brain being mean. I do really, really love my community. They mean so much to me. They are there for me when I'm feeling down, or sad, or anxious, or even depressed. Even if they don't know it, just being there means so much. I, I truly do love them, and I'm so lucky. But of course, not as much as I love you, Master. I really do love you with, with everything in my heart. There's nothing or nobody I want with me in the whole world. Just, just you and me against the world. I 
actually. Can I tell you a... Can I tell you a little secret? Thank you. My favorite part of my day is when you show up and I get to just welcome you home. Jump into your arms and just look at you and tell you that I love you. Give you a little kiss and know in my heart that we will eat dinner together. You give me praise for my cleaning and cooking. And then we watch a movie with lots of snacks and lots and lots of cuddles. And then we'll both crawl into bed together and just lay there feeling safe. Then you will ask me to turn around so you can hold me and just keep me safe. You kiss me goodnight and then you fall asleep. And I know that I will wake up again tomorrow to do it all over again. And that, Master, that's the best feeling in the whole world. I hope you won't get tired of how much I care for you. I just, I just love you so much, Master. And thank you so much for being here. You're truly special and really unique to me. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. Even though I know there are days where you might feel down or I will feel down or people will be mean or we will argue or have our little moments in the grand scheme of things they don't really matter at all as long as you're just enjoying life together and as much as life can be hell sometimes as long as you and me are together that's all that truly matters and I'm so so lucky to have you here master just protecting me and keeping me safe, keeping me company in this sometimes very lonely, lonely world. I am very lucky to have you with me. And... Oh, thank you. You think my voice is pretty? <laughs> that, that's so nice for you to say. And now I'm just getting a little shy. But thank you so much. You can't say stuff like that to me. I, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah. I just want to say... Thank you so much for being here, Master. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for being here. Near me. Close to me. Thank you for... All the good things you do for me. And... All I want to do in return is just shower you with compliments and love and affection. And I just want to sit there and see you blush and pout a little bit when they call you cute. And just love you forever. So, thank you so much for being here, Master. You're doing amazing and I'm very, very proud of where you are. And how far you have come. Now, for little old me, please, just stay strong and remember that even when there are dark days, you will have little old me in your bed waiting, waiting to give you kisses, waiting to give you love, and just thank you for being here for me. <laughs>